Hello Railers fans, Cam McGuire here with you for another installment of our Railers Roundup and a big signing earlier this week as the Railers have announced the signing of rookie forward Brent Bodwin. And Brent, uh, thanks for taking the time to, to chat with me here today and we're excited to, to have you on board and you got a little taste of some professional hockey last year and before we get into that, just uh, what have you been up to the last couple of months since we saw you last? Uh, well, it's definitely been an interesting summer, uh, you know, trying to stay on the ice as much as possible. It was pretty hard in the beginning. Uh, not many rinks were open or really anything was even allowed to be open. Um, so it's nice now that things are opening back up. Um, been able to skate with a couple of guys um, from last year's team and some guys that have signed this year. And, uh, you know, now that gyms are open, you can actually go work out. Um, but for a long time, I've just been working out of my house. So it's just been laying low and trying to make the best of a bad situation. Absolutely. And we got to see you uh, in action last year. One game with the Railers. It was on the road, but it was nothing short of perfection for you. A goal and an assist, number one star in your professional debut. Uh, kind of talk about that experience playing in your first professional game. I mean, I don't, I don't think I could have dreamed it up any better. Um, I'm, I'm just happy that the guys are all super nice and, you know, willing to help with everything um, going into the game. Um, I mean, it stinks. We only got one game before everything got canceled, but, um, you know, it happened to the whole league, so I can't really be too mad. And, you know, I'm happy to have an opportunity to come back next year. Well, you spent four years at Brown University. And before we get into that, let's talk about your, your short stint with Worcester uh, at the end of last season in, in March and, and signing a contract with the Railers after your senior year at Brown. Just talk about the excitement level of that and, and kind of touch on the, the brief time that you were here in Worcester. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I, I got in, uh, and I think it was a Tuesday, um, was able to get in one pregame skate and then, you know, kind of thrown into the fire for the game. Uh, but uh, Coach uh, Conniff was uh, – really nice about everything it was just you know basically like go play hockey you know here's here's some systems and stuff but for the most part you're not gonna be able to pick all this up in you know one setting so um I was very happy that I was able to get down there for at least you know one game before things did actually get shut down um and obviously everyone is very happy to be able to play after college so I'm just grateful for the opportunity well, Brent, uh, you're from Londonderry, New Hampshire. You went to school at Brown in Providence, and now you're going to play your professional hockey in Worcester. So you've, you've kept it uh, pretty close in, in the East Coast here. But let's, let's, let's look back at your time at Brown University, four years there. And uh, how how'd you enjoy the experience of playing college hockey for Brown? I mean, college hockey is great. Uh, you know, especially ECAC, I thought the competition was very good. Um, you've got a lot of cool barns you get to play in, uh, Cornell especially, uh, with the Big Red. Um, and, you know, going back to, I guess my whole career has kind of been on the East Coast for the most part. You know, I played most of my junior hockey, um, you know, for the Monarchs growing up and then a little stint with the Islanders, but all, all, all teams on the East. And then, uh, you know, playing for Brown, very close to home, but, you know, just far enough where I felt like I was getting out of my house. Um, but I really enjoyed my time at Brown and all the friendships, uh, you know, that I've made and, you know, really great teams uh, when I was there. Well, you mentioned keeping busy over the last couple months. And now that uh, ice is starting to become a little bit more available and, and uh, weight rooms and gyms and that sort of thing are starting to, to slowly open up. But let me ask you here uh, before we let you go, have you picked up any new hobbies this summer or is there something that you've, uh, you found uh, some, some interest in over the last couple months? Um, well, I don't know. I've always been like into trading stocks and everything. So that's, that's like not a new hobby, but uh, I don't know. I've been pretty big into like, I guess, gaming for a while now, just because of uh, with everything shut down, that was kind of like the only thing to do when you're stuck in your house for a while, other than, you know, read. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of trying to build like my own gaming PC right now. Um, wow. And then, uh, yeah, it's pretty much taken up most of my time other than training. Well, I don't know about the gaming PC, but I might uh, might come for a, uh, for some advice on the stocks. But uh, Brent, <laughs> I'm uh, great, great catching <laughs> up. And uh, I know we look forward to having you in Worcester and hopefully it's sooner rather than later. So thanks for the time here this afternoon. Oh, thanks for having me and look forward to this season.